Welcome back, VST here when I fish tech. There is a new version of One Hand Operation Plus, if my cat of course will allow me to show you guys. So, what is the deal here guys? New version from One Hand Operation Plus 6.221. They have added tap sliders option to the Quick Tools action, which doesn't probably make a lot of sense, but I can show you what you can do with them, right? And there are some other things that I cannot explore because I don't have a tablet, guys. So there are some fixes for dex mode and also full rotations. Rotate left or right if you have tablets. But the best new option is these tap sliders that will allow you, yes, my kit, thank you so much. These new tap sliders will, okay, let me show you guys. So. I'm just going to, for example, play some of the YouTube videos that I do watch, all right? So what I can do right now with these new top sliders, guys, as long as I pull in here, all right, my menu, right, usually you're not able to do something like this. Right now, I'm able to control the volume, but also the brightness, guys, just by tapping where I want to have them. And because this is gonna be a one-hand operation plus video, guys, with some of the tips, I wanna thank my mate, Yuzhval, who is probably the king of one hand operation plus out there so thank you so much my friend he is providing me the best tip for one hand operation so without any further ado, guys i'm just gonna open the one hand operation plus and show you what i've taken from him and some settings that i find useful for myself so if you want to follow through guys yeah then let me indulge you once you get to the one hand operation guys of course you need to enable mainly two options the left hander which is here and the right hander when you click on the left hander guys you're going to get the options to change things uh, like straight right and diagonal up and diagonal down for a short swipe which means if i just do like a straight right swipe guys i'm gonna go back when i just do a diagonal up guys i'm gonna get my widgets pop up which actually translates to something like this which is very very useful guys because here i have my music which is spotify widget i have also the weather widget and of course i have the new fancy samsung battery widget and don't get me wrong you are able to get this everywhere so let's say i'm here and somehow i decide to just see the weather boom and of course i can do here other widgets so every widget that is on your phone can make its way here so this is one of the settings i wanted to show to you then guys i have also the option to go and yeah just get my quick panel when swiping diagonal down right so we can do this of course like this but it's boring and i can do this and get this right and of course this happens everywhere so i'm just going to, again to go back to my youtube so you're watching one of the youtube videos guys you do a diagonal down boom you have them you will do like this boom you have your control panel and if i just do like an ordinary swipe right guys i'm gonna go back to my home screen and you know this correctly guys there is a difference between short swipes and long swipes so long swipes is let me show you. If I do a short swipe right, it's going to be a back key. But if I do a long swipe right, I'm going to get access to my quick tools. Just, I'm showing you. I'm opening, for example, Chrome. One short swipe right is back. One long swipe, we're going to get my hands on the quick tools. It's very, very useful, guys. Inside the swipe action, you have to see this with your own eyes. Go there, explore it. The options really are unlimited. And this is one of the reasons, right, there are many, but this is one of the reasons why Samsung One UI is probably the best mobile operating system out there. I will never get tiring to say this over and over again. Long swipe, okay, short swipe. If you want to disable this, boom, as easy as that, guys. And because I showed you the new option to tap sliders, I will also show you how you can turn it off and on. Usually this works from the quick tool. So when you enable the quick tools and you associate it with one of the um, different swipes, there is the option now to tap sliders. So adjust volume and brightness sliders by tapping them. Okay, before this update, guys, what will have happened? I'm gonna watch a YouTube video. Let me just go and just play something. Okay, again, playing this boring video of mine. I'm going to go now to my quick tools, guys. And here, see, yeah, it's very annoying. You know, I cannot tap on the brightness and tap on the volume levels. Indeed, I need to do something like this, all right? So again, it might not be the best, or let's say it might not be the rocket science experience, but it's here. And you know, Samsung are constantly pushing tiny, tiny updates like this. And you very correctly saw, I don't have only the left handle, but also the right handle. In the right handle, again, I have the back key, I have a task switch, which I'm gonna show you guys, and I have also a back key on the diagonal down. And I have something very interesting on the long swipes for the diagonal up and down. 
adjusting the volume so let me show you how this works in action you're watching your lame youtube video guys you just do like this and you are able to control the volume okay if i go up yeah you can just see i'm able to also pump the volume but notice even these things pops up here and this is very 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 useful and there is one more thing i want to show you for this video this is the short swipe diagonal up so remember when i just do a long one right up I'm gonna get access to the volume control and up it. But if I do a short one, guys, I'm gonna get access to the task feature. And this is really, really crazy good. Why? Okay, let me just give you an example, guys. I can click on Telegram, I can open it, okay? Now, I can click on Telegram, okay? And I can lock this application, I can open it in split view, right? And then, of course, I can choose something else there. But it even gets better than this, guys. Let me just go back to my menu. If I hold my finger again, I can open it also in a pop-up window, right? So you can just see the un unlimited options that Samsung is presenting to you guys. One more time, holding my finger there. I can directly go now and try to message some of those guys, all right? And I know to a lot of the people out there, this seems to be just, yeah, some tiny, tiny things, and they are tiny, tiny things. The only thing is that there are so many of them which really make One UI shine. With that said, please guys stay safe, VST over and bye.